What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA, where I take you all my perfectly and perfectly dirty, and today, we gonna get into this twist out. So, I have partnered with Chebe USA to bring you the tea on their new black, purple, rice, water collection, and y'all, we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> So the official name of the line is Purple Rice and Chebe, and y'all, this line has six products and I use every single one of them. And so this is going to be a detailed review demo. I'm giving you all the tea. This is actually the first time that I will be using Purple Rice water, which is basically black rice water in my hair. And I'm a little shook. I ain't even gonna front. I ain't even gonna hold you. Links to all the products that I talk about will be down in the description box below. Special shout out to Chebe USA for not only sponsoring this video, but also providing a coupon code for you guys to use. Use the code CPA15 to save 15% off of your order. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I'm starting off with like six day old hair. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pre-poo treatment and I'm gonna use the black fermented rice water. And I'm gonna spray it all over just to get my hair nice and moist. And then I will section my hair. I don't like the smell. <laughs> I would not mind some fragrance, okay. <laughs> but if you're used to rice water, I'm sure you'll be fine. It actually feels really, really good in my hair. Like, that feels really good. I'm, I'm gonna ignore the smell because I really like how my hair feels. Now, one thing I wanted to note was as my hair dried, as I was separating my hair, that yummy feeling went away. And that's also something that I noticed with refresher sprays as well, that it's like you spray it on your hair and then all of a sudden your hair feels dry. Don't be alarmed if this happens to you. Once I saturated this section with the rice water, my hair felt really good and the slip was on point. And per usual, I make sure that I work the product into my strands while I finger detangle. And then I just added extra spray when I needed some extra slip, especially on my roots because they were so tangled. And then I went in with my detangling brush just to make sure that all the tangles were gone. And then I twisted the section up. But let's talk a little bit about what makes purple rice water, AKA black fermented rice water special. Black fermented rice water is a natural treatment high in protein, vitamins, minerals, and more that can be used in a variety of ways. The slightly acidic pH combined with the added nutrients from the fermentation process help to restore the hair's pH balance, nourishes the hair follicles to promote healthy hair growth, provides slip for detangling, smooths the hair, promotes shine, helps repair damage, and improves the overall condition of your hair. And you can use this in a a couple of ways. You can use it like I am before cleansing to aid in the detangling process, or you can use it after shampooing on damp hair, but they recommend that you follow it up with a deep conditioning treatment after. And they suggest that if you have low porosity hair, you can use this one to two times a month. And if you have high porosity hair, you can repeat this every wash day. I just suggest using it and just kind of seeing what your hair prefers. All right, and here I am about 15 minutes later and my hair still feels really good. So I'm super excited about that. But let's see how it feels after I rinse. That's the true test. I just love how healthy my hair looks. Like I feel like the rice water gave my hair a nice luster. Like this is legit the only thing that's in my hair and my hair looks really good. So happy about that. Next, I'm going in with the Chebe USA Purple Rice Water and Chebe Scalp Care Shampoo. And this shampoo has a sticky gel-like consistency Consistency and the lather is instant. Like I definitely used way too much shampoo this first go around. So just make sure that you keep that in mind as you're using it, cause you don't need a lot. The directions say to apply a generous amount onto your hands and to massage it into your hair and scalp until it lathers. And then it says to gently finger comb to pre-detangle and then of course rinse with warm water. And I love that they mentioned that you can finger comb to pre-detangle because this is something that I do with all my shampoos, at least, you know, as long as it allows it. And this shampoo does have enough slip for you to finger comb and it spreads through the hair really nicely. So definitely recommend you trying out the shampoo. And the key ingredients in this shampoo and all the other products in the collection are black fermented rice water, also known as purple rice water, and Chebe. I already talked about the benefits of black fermented rice water, but let's talk about Chebe powder. Chebe powder is a mixture of herbs that are grown primarily in West Africa. And the main ingredient in the mixture is called lavender croton, which is also known as Chebe. And it helps to improve scalp health with its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial properties. It also helps with moisture retention 
retention, which is dope because moisturized hair is less likely to break. So it's giving length retention, which we love to see, okay? And this whole line has so many other amazing ingredients like fenugreek, aloe vera juice, moringa oil, MSM, and so much more. And to save time, I'll make sure to put the full ingredient list for each product in the description box. But just know that with all the yummy ingredients powers combined, you're gonna have a pH balance, healthy hair and scalp environment to promote hair growth, moisture, and length retention. But so far, I am loving this shampoo. <laughs> and did I mention that there were suds everywhere? <laughs> like literally everywhere. The shampoo gives you such a really nice, rich lather that you know, all you're gonna wanna do is play. And so play I did, <laughs> but now that I'm done playing, I'm ready to rinse. And the rinse out took a little while, which kind of happens when you have like the, that creamy, luxurious lather. And so I just took my time. I didn't do too much finger detangling. I just kind of separated my hair so that I could get the shampoo out of every crevice. And now that I'm done rinsing, my hair feels stronger. It is very clean. It's not all the way stripped, but I do kind of hear like a little squeak week to it because it's very clean. <laughs> now that I'm all rinsed, I'm going in with the Chebe USA Purple Rice Water and Chebe Not Challenger Detangling Conditioner. And the consistency is pretty normal. It's not super thick, but it's not super watery. It's like the perfect consistency. And it feels really good in my hands, but when you put on your hair, baby, it feels amazing. Like y'all see my face. I'm like kind of shook because I didn't expect it to feel so good. It just kind of gives your hair like that nice silky feeling which I love. <laughs> now this conditioner was created to intensely hydrate and nourish your strands and because it's so slippery it's supposed to help prevent breakage and tangles. And the dope thing about this conditioner is it can be used as a pre-poo detangler or you can just use it as a rinse out conditioner. And I'm just going section by section making sure that my hair is fully coated with the conditioner. I work it in with my fingers, I finger detangle, I brush and I keep going. And after I finish detangling a section I like to combine all the sections just to make sure that I get the tangles within the parts. I just want to make sure that all the tangles are gone. Now that I'm done rinsing, my hair feels good. It doesn't feel like I use a deep conditioner or anything, but if you happen to be in a rush, you need something to quickly condition, I think that this would be a good option. And it also feels balanced as well. Like I feel like I have like a little strength, a little moisture. It's just a nice balanced conditioner like most of the other products. But now that my hair is nice and detangled, I'm gonna go in with the Chebe USA Purple Rice Water and Chebe Intense Repair Deep Conditioner. And this has a very interesting consistency. I was a little confused because I'm like, this is very creamy. It almost is lightweight, but it's also thick. But when I put it into my hair, y'all, this deep conditioner feels so good. And it was just melting into my strands. Like, oh my word, it feels amazing. And although it's not super thick, it is coating my strands very nicely. And it was formulated to give your strands an intense conditioning treatment. Yes, this creamy, soft and nutrient dense deep conditioner is supposed to rehydrate and detangle curly hair. And with continued use, they claim that it will help to repair damage, reduce breakage and shedding and provide deep nourishment. And the dope thing about this deep conditioner is it's safe for all hair types. So even if your hair is low porosity, girl, come on and get this protein moisture balance. Now the directions do say to apply this onto wet detangled hair after cleansing, which is what I did because I detangled with their rinse out conditioner. However, this deep conditioner has enough slip that you can detangle with it. So if you're someone who detangles at your deep conditioning stage, I think you will be fine. And I left the side of my hair loose just so that you guys could see how defined my curls were. Like I just love when a deep conditioner clumps my curls and just gets them together, okay? But now that I'm done applying the deep conditioner all over, I'm gonna put my hair in some twists, put on a couple plastic caps, rinse off my body and my face just to make sure that my deep conditioning cap doesn't get dirty, and I will be back. <laughs> And here I am about 30 minutes later and y'all, my hair has absorbed almost all of this deep conditioner. It feels good. It's not feeling like extra juicy. It just feels like normal. <laughs> but of course the true test is the rinse out. All right, and now that I'm all rinsed, my hair looks really good. Now it does leave a bit of a coating. My hair does feel like there's some heaviness to it, but I don't mind that. But if your hair gets easily weighed down, you just have to be careful with the amount that you use because it does leave a little something behind. But I'm just loving how my curls are looking. Looks so good. My ends, everything's so curly, like, wow. <laughs> 
Next, I'm going in with the Chebe USA Purple Rice and Chebe 3-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner. And y'all, I did not expect this leave-in conditioner to be so watery, but even though it is watery, it still packs a punch. It feels so good going on my hair. Like the slip is really good. I was able to get it to distribute into my hair without any issues. It definitely left a good first impression. And this 3-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner does three things. It detangles, it hydrates, and it moisturizes. The directions say to apply Apply it to soaking wet conditioned hair and evenly distribute throughout all your strands which is super easy with a loose consistency and they say for wash and go or define styles you can follow up with the gel and they also say you can use it on dry hair to revive refresh and bring back hydration which is something we'll talk about a little bit later and although it is lightweight it feels so good in my hair like my hair feels so soft it feels supple it feels moisturized and the icing on the cake is that it is defined and the interesting about this leave-in is although it applied very nicely to my hair like you could kind of see like these white they're not beads but it's like it's like just like product kind of sitting on my hair which is very interesting so I'm just gonna put on a couple plastic caps come back in like 15 minutes after I clean up and stuff and we'll see how my hair feels and looks and after about 10-15 minutes I am back and my hair feels really good guys like it felt good before I put the cap on but now it's just like my hair is just so silky and soft and the curls the curls are popping and I feel like my hair absorbed a good bit of the product. You'll still kind of see like there's some product kind of laying on my hair, but I have no fear that will no longer be a problem after I add in Chebe USA Curl Discovery Defining Gel. And I like the consistency of the gel. It's almost not like, so it's not like your typical flaxy gel. I think it has a little bit more weight to it, um, a little bit of pull, which I prefer because flaxy gel can be a little bit on like the lightweight side. And y'all, as soon as I put this gel on my hair oh my goodness the way that it just laid my hair down clumped my curls like if it was not two in the morning i would have did a wash and go okay but after smoothing the gel in i'm gonna twist my hair in medium twists and of course i'm gonna make sure that i twirl my ends but as i twist i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this gel this gel was made to help you discover your beautiful curl pattern in a different way they want you to experience the nourishing benefits of flax and chia seeds paired with whole definition and shine the directions say to apply a generous amount to freshly washed and detangled hair distribute it evenly throughout the sections from root to tip and they say you can pair it with the three-in-one leave-in conditioner like i'm doing and of course to apply it onto wet hair like most flaxseed gels you can use it for wash and go styles but also you can add it to your twist outs braid outs or whatever just for some extra definition and as i twisted my hair my hair was able to retain a good moisture level so i didn't have to add in more water and now that I'm done twisting, I'm just going to add a little bit of gel to my edges and to my crown, which I'll regret later. Just stay tuned for that. <laughs> but my twists look so good, guys. They are so juicy. They're shiny. It's moisturized. As I mentioned before, it is late at night. Luckily, my hair is not soaking wet. So I'm just going to put on my bonnet, put on my scarf, just kind of wipe off my skin. My hair isn't sticky, but my skin is. And then I'm just going to go to bed. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the next day. I'm so sleepy, <laughs> but we had to wake up early to go somewhere. Um, I just want to sit under the dryer because I don't want to go outside with my hair so wet. I did not give myself any chance to air dry last night. So I don't even know what my hair is going to look like. Oh, I don't like how that feels. Oh crap. I think I might get some flakes. This makes me nervous. <laughs> So this is the section where I put extra gel and because I'm heavy handed, I'm no stranger to this type of flaking. And so I just took one of my favorite butters that melts down to an oil and I just rubbed that into my edges just to kind of get rid of the whiteness. And then I sat under my hooded dryer so that my hair could dry fully before I went outside. And here I am the next day and we are on the road and my twists are crunchy. They are crunchy and shiny and I'm really excited, a little nervous about the twist out. See you soon. What is up guys? It is literally days later, okay? I did my hair in the wee hours of the night on Wednesday, traveled down to Georgia to see my family, and it's been a rough weekend. Uh, me and my hubby got sick. Some other things happened, and so your girl been in this bonnet for like four days. <laughs> okay, when I tell you that four days ago I had crunch, 
okay? I had shine. I mean, I don't even know what it's gonna look like under here, but it's time. <laughs> it's time, <laughs> okay? So like I said, I did my hair on Wednesday. Today is Monday, the following Monday. And this is what I'm working with. Let me come up close, okay? All right. It actually still has shine. The shine has not disappeared. And my hair actually feels really soft, which I love. Like, yeah, this feels good. Now, I didn't expect my hair to feel like still like moisturized after like all these days because typically when I use a gel, you know, the moisture doesn't really last, but my hair still is really, really soft. So I'm really happy about that. But let's see if the definition has been left behind, all right? Yeah, it's so, so soft. And I wanted to really test the moisture level, so I didn't add any oil. Sometimes oil can mask like a dry feeling, but I'm just taking my time, taking the twist out, and my hair is separating with no issues. All right, guys, so I actually really, really love my results. Let me give you a close-up of the front. Definition is really, really nice. My hair is so soft, like so soft. Man, sometimes the, um, that balmy feeling, you know, that we like, you know, you know. Sometimes it's hiding in the twist. My hair feels really good. It feels like I used a cream. And here I am a couple hours later. Since my hair was looking so good, I wanted to freshen up to just feel a little better. As you can see, I'm super hype about my results. I love how soft it feels. I love how shiny it is. I love the definition. And I love the movement as well. Stay tuned to see how long my twist out lasted. And of course, my final thoughts about the products. What is up, guys? It is a lot of days later. This is what my hair is looking like. It is still extremely defined. Like my hair should not be this defined. Oh my word. It looks so freaking good. I wanted to make sure the lighting was bright enough so that you guys could see the definition and how like my hair still has a bit of a luster to it, even though it's been days since I took these twists down and I have not put anything in my hair. The only thing that I put in my hair was today where I put a little bit of leave-in on my edges just to kind of lay it down a bit because it was just not looking right. But other than that, I haven't put anything in my hair. My hair is not dry. My hair is not crispy. It's just soft. It's like pillowy, soft, feels really good. Wow. Wow. Did not expect this at all, okay? And this side of my hair, y'all know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, this side of my hair is not usually as defined like days later. Like what? Like curls popping. We cannot stop it, okay? Cannot stop it. Love how my hair looks and feels, okay? So I washed my hair 10 days ago and I took my twist down five days ago. And the reason why I'm so shook is because I've just literally been sweating, okay? <laughs> As I mentioned before, I've been sick. I had the Rona, okay, here we are. I had COVID. Don't even know how I got it, but for me, I had flu-like symptoms. And usually when I'm sick, my hair is really dry, like <laughs> really, really dry because, you know, all of the nutrients are just being used up, depleted, hair gets the last of it, right? So I've been sick and then also I've been sweating bullets. And y'all know how it is when you're sweating and you're working out. It's sweat is sweat and sweat dries your hair out, okay? It usually makes your hair tangled, okay? And it just sucks all of the moisture away. And for me to, on day 10, to still have a bit of moisture left, a ton of definition, love this for me, okay? Like I've used products with rice water in it. Some of the times it was not successful, other times have been successful. But one of the things that, especially as people who identify as like low porosity, one of the fears is that your hair will be dry, right? But my hair was able to retain moisture so well. Love this for me, okay? So I'm gonna quickly go through each of the products and let you know my final thoughts, what I think, if I think it's worth your coin. So first, let's talk about this black fermented rice water. And I was very surprised that I liked it. For all y'all people who've been using black rice water this whole time, and I've been like, nah, I'm good. You know, I apologize, okay? This was a very lovely experience. It had nice slip, it softened my hair. The way that my hair sprung up, like that shrinkage was like instant. And that's 
something that I like to see when I'm using something that is geared towards strengthening my hair. What I wanna see is my elasticity to, to really be activated, okay? Bounce back. And that's what I found with using fermented rice water spray. Now, I really don't like the smell. Like, I'm not even going front on y'all. The smell is bad, but it's not something that lingers and you can get over it. Like, as you see your brush going through your hair with ease, it's easy to get over the smell, all right? Um, I would just say, just try to, if you're sensitive to smell and you, um, you've you used rice water before, you don't really like the smell, just spray away from your face. <laughs> You know, yes, but definitely is worth your coin. I do see the benefits. Now, I use a ton of it because I was very, very generous. There are other ways you can use this. If you're detangling before you wash your hair, you can detangle with something else and then just spray this on your roots or spray it all over. You don't have to saturate your hair in it like I did, but I liked using it that way. So if you're worried about conserving and not using a ton of it, then just spray it on your roots and detangle with something else. If you're like me, you're not gonna use every wash day, maybe every month, every other month, then have at it, okay? Be generous. And of course, when I rinsed it, my hair still felt good. So I like this. I definitely like this. I would not make rice water on my own. Like, let's put that out there. I'm not making rice water. It's unless someone is paying me to do it, I'm not making rice water, okay? It's just facts. And so knowing that if I need a little black rice water fix, I can just hit up Chebe USA. Love that for us. Love that for me, all right? Next up, we have the Scalp Care Shampoo. I really like the shampoo. Now, y'all already know I be in because sometimes I need to pour a lot of shampoo to get the shot, all right? I'm trying to get y'all the shot. And so I definitely use a ton of this on like the first section. I use less on the second section. It still was suds everywhere. This is a nice cleansing shampoo. Y'all know that I really like a shampoo that has slipperiness to it. And this had that. When it was in my hair, it felt really good. I was able to finger detangle or just work it through my hair easily, okay? Um, and then when I rinsed it, my hair did not feel like it was gonna break off. It was very clean, but I wasn't afraid to put my hands through my hair. You know, and so for me, I'm not afraid of using clarifying shampoos, but if you're someone who you're afraid of clarifying shampoos, but you really need one, this is a good one because your hair won't, won't feel like hay. Um, it'll feel nice and strong and really clean, okay? So yes, like the shampoo. The shampoo definitely, definitely is worth your coin. The scent, I think of this and really all the other products, it has like a masculine smell. I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting thing to like the smell of the products after using the black rice water, but the smell is good, okay? It's all right. Um, next, I have the Not Challenger Detailing Conditioner, and this is slippery. I cannot take anything from this, this conditioner. This is very slippery. It is silkening. It's nice and soft. When you rinse it, it's not giving you deep conditioner, but it's giving you conditioner. I like that you can use this in multiple ways. If you're not into rinse out conditioners, but you like to detangle your hair with conditioner before, you shampoo, you can use this. It is very slippery. Just make sure your hair is wet. All right, all right, all right. Next up, we have the Intense Repair Deep Conditioner, and I love this deep conditioner, okay? Listen, moisture protein balance on lock. The only thing y'all you need to be worried about, if your hair is easily weighed down, be light-handed, okay? Because this does leave weight to your hair. Like my hair felt nice and heavy when I was done rinsing, which is something that I like, especially when I don't know when I'm gonna wash my hair next. I just like a deep conditioner to just leave a little something behind, and this does that. And I didn't even have to use a ton of it. Like, I did not use a lot of this deep conditioner. If you need a moisture protein balance deep conditioner, okay, this is the one. This is the one. Loved this for me. All right, next up, we have the three-in-one leave-in conditioner. And I like this leave-in conditioner, okay? When I took the cap off, I saw that there was still a little bit of leave-in just kind of sitting on my hair. But my hair felt really 
good, okay? Felt amazing. This leave-in conditioner is nice. I put this on my edges a couple of hours ago, and when I put it on my hair, it actually was able to absorb into my dry hair a lot better than my wet hair. Um, so that's just, if you're a person that you are a damp or dry hair applier, this will work well for that, okay? I really don't have any like serious complaints about the leave-in conditioner. I just wish that my hair was able to absorb it a little better, but once you start styling and stuff, like everything absorbs. It's, <laughs> everything absorbs. This just needed a little extra time, okay? All right, next let's talk about this gel. This is the Curl Discovery Defining Gel. Can we say wash and go? Like the way that this gel oiled my hair. If it was not like two in the morning, I probably would have done a wash and go because that is how well this gel just defined my curls. It's funny because the gel, it does not have a lot of weight. Like this is not a heavy gel. This is flax and chia seed gel. So this is not giving you wet line, okay? It is not heavy gel, but it does something to the curls. Like it just like, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I really like this gel. Now, if you're planning to do a wash and go, you're, you're gonna have to do trial and error to see like how much gel to use. I would just say to start with enough to coat your hair, but maybe just don't OD and put like extra like I did <laughs> because I definitely took a little extra at the end. It was almost a travesty. I honestly thought I was gonna have flakes everywhere. I just put a little bit of like oil on my edges and the visible flakes went away. When I took my twist down, I didn't take it down in the mirror, so I didn't notice that I had flakes up here. Here. Um, but today, I think today was really the first time that I really examined my hair just because I've been out. <laughs> and today I noticed, okay, I do have a little bit of flaking, but it's only right in here, okay? And so that is good enough for me. So overall, I thoroughly enjoyed this experience. I think the only complaint that I had was that the black rice water, it don't smell good. And then also the packaging is a little, I don't know how to explain it, but after being in the shower for a long time, um, it has a little like tackiness to it. Um, and the words are a little, little faded, especially with the black rice water bottle because I had it in my hand for the longest. Um, but other than that, I literally have no complaints. Like you can get over the packaging and all that stuff. And that's something that can be easily fixed. Listen, Chebe USA. <laughs> Like I cannot wait to try more of their products. For those of you who are not familiar, Chebe USA is the sister company to Uhuru Naturals. Um, Uhuru Naturals is the one that makes that rapid biotin spray that I really like and the oil. And so they have not missed for me yet, okay? And so I'm really, really excited to be partnering with them. Hopefully I can partner with them again in the future. They have another line that I've been eyeing and has blue packaging. I can't remember the name of the products, but you know, I'm pumped. Send me all the things, okay? Send me all the things. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions, okay? I'm still not feeling 100%, so I might have missed something. The sweating has begun, so I need to go sit down somewhere. <laughs> but special shout out to Chebe USA once again for sponsoring today's video and for them being super patient and gracious with me as I recovered and caught up. Make sure you check out the description box for product information and also links to the products that I use. And of course, use my code CPA15 to save some coin. <laughs> but yes, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions. And let me scoot over, all right? Because y'all already know I put some videos on the screen for your viewing pleasure, all right? And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you peace, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye, guys. See you in the next one. <laughs>